coordinator Andrew Rody. Thanks uh, for your time today, Coach. Uh, doing a, a weekly preview here uh, leading up to uh, Davenport on Thursday. Uh, first game on the road at Davenport. Uh, before we talk Davenport, um, kind of bring us up to speed on, on your side of the ball. You guys have kind of wrapped up um, camp this week, had a couple of scrimmages last week, and now we're kind of getting into a more normal schedule with uh, game prep and, and classes this week. Kind of bring us up to speed on how you feel the, the offensive units progressed your last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think it's been, um, I think we've, as a whole offensive staff, we've been pretty excited about the progression that we've had um, going from spring ball to how the guys came back in shape over the summer and then the things that have happened uh, in fall camp, uh, I think has been really, really good um, so far. Uh, the young guys have picked up the offense really, really quickly and started developing um, probably even faster than some of the previous years uh, that we've been here uh, at Concordia so far. Good. Now you guys have, uh, you know, as far as, as far as roster breakdown goes, you know, a lot of guys that are coming back at, at, at key positions. Um, kind of talk about what that has been like, you know, obviously with a talented freshman class coming in, some new guys, some transfers, and then also a core group of returners, how you've been able to kind of, uh, you know, manage that and, and kind of see where the depth chart lies uh, in that regard. Right. I think um, it's been incredible to watch this group uh, come together and grow to love each other um, as a team, uh, especially the offense. It's, it's been a really cool group, how they've committed to each other, how they care about each other, um, and the things that they're doing uh, in terms of like building relationships with each other. It's been phenomenal to watch that, and I think that really stems from having an older group of guys coming back, have a very veteran offense. Um, uh, and those guys kind of leading the charge and building this family. So that's been really great. Uh, and then offensively, uh, anytime you've got an older group, uh, and especially this is kind of one of the groups that we started with when we first came in and brought this offense, they have uh, done a great job understanding and learning the scheme um, and really growing in their football IQ. So we've been able to you know, grow the offense and expand the offense more and more as this group has, has grown with it. Good. Uh, now as you head into to week one here against Davenport on Thursday at Davenport, um, it's kind of different rhythm this week with, uh, with classes starting, more consistent practices uh, as far as time goes, and uh, obviously trying to manage the first week of, of everyone's schedule. Talk about what the approach has been from the maybe general team side um, as you uh, prep for Davenport on Thursday. There have been a lot of distractions um, from football. Good, some really good distractions. We've got freshman orientation happening. We've got the early week, the game under the lights at Davenport, which they're a really good football team. So there's a lot of things that uh, are working uh, to distract us from the main purpose, and that's you know winning on Thursday night and being our best uh, as an offense uh, and as a team. Um, but I know a lot of those distractions have been great because those guys have gotten off, or a lot of our freshmen at orientation have gotten off to a great start um, you know, academically and socially, and so that's been a really positive thing. Um, and because this program is about a lot more than just football, um, so they've been able to get into the uh, academic and social side of school here, um, which has been great. But um, at the end of the day, Thursday night, the lights are going to turn on and we got a game. Uh, we got to make sure we're getting after it. Absolutely. Looking a little bit more in detail on Davenport, um, probably don't have much on them as far as, you know, only a second year team. They also did get a new coach. Um, we're NAI now, uh, Division Two, so obviously a lot of newness with that program. I guess with maybe what you do know or what you've seen on film, kind of what are you expecting for and, and kind of game planning for uh, there? Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, they're a really good football team. They've got a really uh, a strong group on defense. Everybody will be back for the most part um, from what it looks like. Um, and they play fast. They play very physical. Um, and I know that it's a strong defensive staff. And for the most part, those guys have all stayed. And they are going to be a year smarter and a year stronger. Um, and so it's going to be a really tough challenge for us. Good. Well, we look forward to the game again Thursday night at Davenport. Um, under the lights, first game of the year. Look forward to talking more as the season goes on. Thanks for your time today, Coach. Uh, offensive coordinator at Concordia Football, uh, Andrew Rohde. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.